When you come in, there is immediately a floor length mirror. Um, Here is just a shot of the room from the doorway. Um, my roommate's already moved out, so that's why half the room is still furnished. Um, this is my trash can and recycling bin. I recommend having both in the room. Um, at your desk, you have a chair that rocks a little bit, a, a shallow but pretty big desk drawer, and a hutch that can be removed or moved around. It's completely detached. Um, there's a bed. This is what the bed looks like when it's just on the floor. And then my bed, as you can see, is lofted. The bed loft is rented. Also, this carpet I bought directly from the university. Um, so the lofted beds are pretty tall. They're, um, the bottom black part is about five feet off the ground. And then we have a very big window that has shades at the top that are up right now. Um, this is the heating vent. There's no AC here, but you can open the window and put fans in and it's fine. Um, here's the other desk. And then we have a drying rack that I bought. These are the two dressers. Both dressers have five drawers in it and the drawers are very, very big. That one's kind of gross, just by shelf liners. Um, we also had here, there was a table or a refrigerator and then this printer was on top of it, but my roommate took her refrigerator home. Um, these are the closets. There's a huge space up here to put um, any stuff you have. I have like extra bags that I use for moving in so that they're there when I want to move out and like our fans, stuff like that. And then that's my closet and my roommate's closet. There's also this huge expanse of shelves, which is really, really, really nice to have. Um, the closet door just slides open and it looks like that. You can fit kind of a lot in there. Like it's not, we, we were never at a loss for storage. And here's just a quick 360 of the room. Um, not everyone had their layouts exactly like ours. There was a lot of different ways, but I definitely recommend lofting your bed for, um, more room because we could fit a lot of people in here also that's the wi-fi extender and i think that's it um there's a light up here it's pretty bright we often just had it off because we had led lights on the ceiling and then i also have lights under my bed that's a good tip if you have a lofted bed you're going to want to have like twinkle lights or something to put under your bed otherwise it's way too dark um and yeah you can Put your desks however you want it's pretty i've seen a lot of different layouts in this building but that's the general thing i think the best part is that we have really big closets and then a really big window we also have a bathroom this is what a typical bathroom looks like they all look um somewhat different but there's always three toilets and then three sinks two more sinks three showers there's a urinal because this used to be um an all men's dorm in all the showers, there's a stall with a changing room and then like a curtain and more in the shower. Um, there's trash and compost in the bathroom and recycle or paper towels and then recycling and trash are out here. There's also a water bottle filler. Um, and this is the door to the stairs. I'm lucky um, the water bottle filler is only in the second and fourth floors on that side of the stairwell. And so I happen to be, my room is near the stairwell, the water fountain and the trash. So that's pretty nice. Um, and then where the water filler is on other floors, there's just normal traditional water fountains and on the other side of the floor. So that's all, this is Chestertown Hall. Here's just another quick 360.